Hi everyone, we are students of the National University of Colombia, the English Subject 4, and we are going to interview Rodolfo Ginas, who is a Colombo-American neurophysiologist with a recognized track record worldwide for their contributions to the field of neuroscience. He was born in Bogota, D.C. the 16th of December of 1934 and we still have the joy of having him alive. In his scientific trajectory, it is worth mentioning that he directed the program of the scientific program NeuroLab of NASA. He is also recognized for his work on comparative physiology of the cerebellum, the intrinsic electrophysiological properties of neurons with the enunciation of the now known as law of genus and on the relation between the cerebral activity and the conscience. Among the numerous awards he has received, we can highlight the Albert Einstein Gold Medal in UNESCO Science, the Robert S. Dow Prize in Neuroscience, Portland, Oregon, USA, the Ragnar Granit Prize and Conference Nobel Institute, Stockholm, as well as the nine doctorates honoris causa. With a further ado, Dr. Rodolfo Ginas. Good morning, doctor. Hello, everybody. A pleasure to be here. Let us talk about some generalities to contextualize our listeners. What has been your academic career? Where did you study? I graduated as a surgeon at the Pontificia Universidad Javeriana. Did you specialize? Yes, I obtained my doctorate in neurophysiology from the National University of Dra. And what do you do now? I am currently a professor of neuroscience at the, uni at the New York University of School of Medicine, where he also the director of the Department of Physiology and Neuroscience and hold the chair Thomas and Susan Murphy at the New York University Medical Center. What is your science obsession today? If we want to try understood the natural of the subjectivity, the memory anyone can be understood as the ability of the cells and the system to be modified in the same way as reconstruct the past. This can be clear as we talk about the ability of move your body. This will be very, very clear. But the fact we don't know is when we feel a pain, how that pain is generated. I want to know the cause of this pain. Is there a possibility to make such a brain transplant? No, that is impossible. This can be similar as doesn't exist in the world so we cannot just extract the breath of someone and put it in another body that cannot be such possible because it's like I extract my brain and if I put in another body. That pencil will no longer by him, it will be me. Could be possible in futuro to discover a vaccine against Alzheimer and Parkinson? Yes, I will be just a vaccine. There is a lot of treatment that actually in the medicine there is a lot of information of this kind of treatments. With this can have self clearance of both disease because Parkinson and Alzheimer are as degenerative disease in contrast with the disease we can predict that in about 10 years it will be solution for this, that the medicine can find a cure of this disease right now. We have such a medicine that can heal in some way this disease to give better life to the patient. Also about drugs and alcohol, is it true that this can be negative to the brain? In other words, is it unfair to be pessimistic or bitter? Being better is a state of brain because the soul does not succeed. You cannot be sad without a brain. Then you ask me if with the general state of sadness, of bitterness, the deterioration of brain? I will say no, because the brain is already damaged. That is why 
it is sad at the same time are function of the brain that have evolved. In which age is relevant the brain related to education? Education should be done as early as possible. Children need to be taught to think, to generate our solutions, teach them to understand because if we don't improve the skills of the children, the time of knowledge will be lost. How can memory be improved? The memory is a functional state of the brain. If you ask me how we can determine the strength on the muscular mass, we can clarify that the strength in the muscular mass is very doing exercise sometimes. We see that we can sell products that can improve the skill of the memory, like software, sudokus, these light gadgets are good and force people to use memory.